people aren't the only ones spreading joy this holiday season in the Upper Peninsula. The Delta Animal Shelter brings pets to nursing homes and assisted living facilities throughout the year in Delta County. It's called the Snuggles for Seniors program. The cats and the dogs, they bring them, believe me, make all the difference in the world. It's wonderful. Robert Wallace is from Munising, but now lives at the Bishop Noah Home for Seniors in Escanaba. He spent some time cuddling with a kitten. I have a cat of my own that I haven't seen for quite a while. And uh, it makes me feel good just to be here with a, with a cat. Something I can pet. You know, like, like I was able to before. They love their animals and so many of them have had to leave, you know, a family pet behind. So by uh, the animal shelter bringing in the animals um, to share, it brings back fond memories for them. The Delta Animal Shelter says the seniors may not know it, but they're also helping the pets. They are actually helping us socialize these animals, so when they go up for adoption, they're going to be really, really great pets. Snuggles for seniors can also cheer up people who may not get to see their loved ones for the holidays. One of the nurses just told me, like, this one lady was really sad. Yesterday, she brought her one of the puppies, and now she can't stop smiling. The kittens and puppies will be up for adoption in about eight weeks. But before then, on Saturday, December 1st, the Delta Animal Shelter will be holding a Christmas open house. We're going to have adoption specials from 10 to 12, and then from 12 to 4 we have Pitch Your Pet with Santa. Um, we have a low-cost microchip clinic and also low-cost nail tripping. Meanwhile, you can help pets at the Eva Burrell Animal Shelter in Manistique from November 23rd through December 24th. Donations like dog and cat food, as well as paper towels and 13-gallon trash bags can be dropped off and placed under the giving tree. You can find the Giving Tree along with the shelter's wish list at a business in Manistique called Pet Teak. Keeping it local, James Fillmore, Local 3 News. Around the Caring House in Iron Mountain works to protect victims of domestic violence, whether it's counseling or housing. Throughout the past year, the center has been planning on expanding its services with the creation of a new child advocacy center. It's so important for a victim to know people really care and how devastating when a child has to come forward and say, I've been hurt and have to go through that process. Now we have something in our community that's going to help that child therapeutically, but also if they're going through the criminal justice system, somebody to hold their hand and the hand of their non-offending parents. For some residents, the holiday season can be a particularly difficult time of the year. After the first of the year, a lot of victims coming in with their families and they have said to us, I had to endure it to get through Christmas for my children. So we just want that message out there. No, you don't. We'll make sure it happens. You need safety. We're going to make sure you and your children are safe. O'Neill says they hope to have the new center open by the beginning of the new year. You can find more information on The Caring House by visiting our website at upmatters.com. Reporting in Iron Mountain, Calvin Lewis, Local 3 News.